Jean. Hey Sue. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I'm really looking forward to the programme again that we're doing together next year and this is a chance for us to share some of our thoughts about the importance of that and what we're going to be considering at the time. Yep, absolutely. And in particular, um, at first, because we typically start with how things impact on us personally, um, I thought we could share the significance of coaching between you and I, because that's been over 30 years that we've been connected now. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I think the, I think there's without question the the relationship that we developed over that period of time is is kind of foundational to to the impact that we have in our individual work, but also collectively. So yeah, sounds great. And some of the things particularly that um, I've realized over time, or you taught me, has been, and I've experienced, has been, for example, your ability to hold space, mm. to hold an outcome, and wait, and trust, and coach, and encourage in that time. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that, that sticks out for me is way back when, I remember being at Bix and sitting up there on the kind of one of those stools and and saying, I really want to be, I want to see myself grow into being a world-class coach. And you look at me with this kind of eagle eye and go, gee, you are a world-class coach. <laughs> but you know who I learned that from? <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't learning the words. I just got that whole way of giving feedback from you. So it comes back and it comes you back the Beautiful, isn't it? You know, it's like what you give out, you know, be careful because guess what? It's coming back. And I think that's a, that's a characteristic of our coaching relationship, our personal relationship with each other is that there is this synergy about how we interact around those kinds of issues, which is just so powerful. Yes. yes. Yeah. Holding, holding outcomes over time has been a very exactly. big part of that. Yeah. And something I've really valued, and I think even it's grown over time has been the fact that I feel that I could, even in my worst states, give you feedback um, and say what I want to say, whether it's well formed or not, and you've been there to hear it um, and to take it on board, and I find that remarkable, and I think that's very key to the relationship that we have. Yeah, I think it is. I, I think the, you know, that kind of openness. I remember one time we were, we actually went down to Liverpool to your, your Fixing up your mom's house apartment, and oh, you're up going. To Liverpool, by the way. What's that? <laughs> up to Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'd be down from Scotland, but up from London. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, it was there to Liverpool, right? And uh, we were driving back, and I, I remember you were you were reflecting, and I think it was a very emotional time, just because of all obviously all the associations with family and stuff, and uh, and there was some kind of. I'm not quite sure exactly what it was, but like distress of a, of a sort. We were driving in the car on the motorway. And I remember saying to you, you know, there's no place I'd rather be than right here now. And that, that was true statement about being with you, but it also has continued to resonate back to me. Almost like a, it's all, almost like a backboard. It came back and hit me that what a powerful um, experience to share that you're in a place you wouldn't want to be any other place at that point in time. Yeah. That, and I think that's characteristic of our relationship is that when we're together, it feels like there's no other place I'd rather be. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's pause on that note then for a moment. <laughs> <laughs>